trust the Russian Facebook machine. I mean, the Russians put me up to this. <gasps> I've said too much. I'm sorry. My real name is Boris Yeskunov. Mm-hmm. I've been better off. So that's okay. The Russians are all right. I mean, Rocky was cool. He was in the Expendables. Oh, look at here. Look at this. What's going on? How did you even, hey, this, did you see it on Facebook? I did. I saw it on Facebook. I was watching and, uh, I'm eating a sa- I'm eating a sandwich, but you know, whatever. I figured I'd come chime in. It's a test. I think you could eat a sandwich during a test. <laughs> oh, y'all, y'all want a song? A song. Let me get is, back on this, is, this, this has morphed into a live podcast. Sorry. We have John Israel. That's okay. The Russians are all right. Yep. And myself. And the Russians, of course. Oh yeah, the Russians. You gotta love the Russians. Well, I love Vladimir. <laughs> I eat a bunch of sandwiches, you'll be Putin later. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, you know what they're saying to sing? Uh, Brian's egging me on to sing. And maybe at the beginning of tonight's stream, I'll write a brand new song. And I'll dedicate hey, Brian, it to Brian. <laughs> I'll come on the podcast, man. I'll, we don't even hey, have to do it over the phone. I have a Blue Yeti mic. We can sound all professional. There, hey, there you go right there. You know, Brian's tired from editing this podcast with Ralph. I'm sure he is. <laughs> I'm sure he had to edit out the coughing, too. He slept in this morning because of the editing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, I tell you what's funny. No, but thing. I love Brian. I love Brian, man. I love his podcast. I enjoy listening to it. I really do. Brian says, hey, John. But Doug Gibson says, what's up, fuckers? Mm-hmm. That sounds about right. That's Doug Gibson's hello. I mean, don't be offended. That's how he says hello. Yeah, I mean, Brian, if you want a blue-collar guy, man, here you go. I, I can keep it clean for you, too, man. I can. He's lying. He, couldn't keep, he, <laughs> he can't even keep his blue-collar clean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah, we got Daniel Anderson down there. I think Brian's trying to capture him to go on the podcast. Brian's trying to capture me to go on a podcast, but I'm very elusive. No one knows where I'm at. This is a bunker, 100 foot below the ground. Well, if he's trying to get you to go on one, he better get me to go on one. <laughs> hey, he wants to, I forget what he wants to talk about. He can tell us here in the thing. Yeah. Justin Hernandez, you are late to the party, my friend. This is a test of the emergency broadcasting system. <laughs> we, are, we are broadcasting simultaneously from two different states to two different locations on Facebook right. and YouTube. So we're on the Cowboy Channel? Uh, I think we're on Working Joe's actually. Okay, and what Facebook group are we in? We're on the Working Joe's podcast Facebook group. I tried about fifty groups; it kept failing. I had to restart the whole software, the same software you've got, the XSplit, to try to get it to go to Facebook, and it finally worked after like the sixth try. I tried the Working Joe's, keeping it simple. I tried the Cowboys Facebook group. Mm-hmm. I was even going to try the Technicians group because I felt like getting kicked in the nuts for a while. <laughs> or the Pro Talk group so they could tell me, you know, my unit's not level or something. Right. Oh, Brian, come on, man. You're the master at that. I mean, you're the podcast king. You, you know, bring me on the podcast and you can ask me whatever you want. He says he wants you to think of a topic. He wants to talk about something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. There, there's no moderators on Facebook. That, that doesn't really matter. <laughs> you know, speaking for myself, and I know for John, too, after being on YouTube for six years and John for just slightly less than six years, right? I think we're used to seeing some pretty rough comments out there, so it doesn't bother anybody. Absolutely. I think I'm right. Yeah, I think I'm just a hair under six years. I think I started in, yeah, 2012, so I'm about five and a half. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. I'm reading down through our chat. There's two chats to read now. So you see on Facebook, I actually sent the YouTube chat to Facebook so they could read it on Facebook. Mm, okay. That's the first time. There was another application that you could do that with. <laughs> what a second. Daniel, you're going to be in Wilmington, man. That's my neck of the woods. Hey, I'm going to United tomorrow and supposed to check out the Zoom lock deal tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. And, you know, Zoom lock some stuff. And this lady said she sent me a text today and says they're bringing pizza. So it's going to be awesome. Well, that's cool. Yeah, well, you know, they're good. I mean, uh, when my rep came down, she took me to the to an Italian restaurant. 
what's nice. I didn't want to go into dates or nothing. I just wanted to, you know, <laughs> go, go to hey, United. <laughs> I, I didn't ask, man. You know, it was offered, so I went. Well, I hope you told Candace about this. Oh, she came with me. Oh, was she there? Yeah, when she found out that we were going to eat Italian. See, my wife should have been Italian. I don't know how she's from Louisiana, but she's like, oh, well, I, I have to come. So I called up Morgan. I was like, hey, my wife wants to come eat Italian. She's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. That's right. I bet it was pretty good, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess uh, we can. while we're on here, we can remind everybody not to forget about the giveaway tomorrow night. That's right. That's it. Giveaway's coming. Before you know it, it's only just over 24 hours from now. That's right. The live stream of the week. Yep. Giveaway tomorrow night on the Cowboys of HVAC YouTube channel. That's right. Be there. Be square. And we might even broadcast it to the Cowboy Facebook, Facebook group. Yeah. That's right. Or the Cowboys Facebook page, whichever one right, works. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know what? You have, you're going to have to be on YouTube to win. You can't be on a Facebook page to win, so you might as well watch on YouTube if you can. Yeah, watch on YouTube if you want to win. Don't forget to go comment on the last giveaway video to be entered to win. That'll get you entered to win, but in able to win, you must be present in the live chat on YouTube. Yep, that's right. That's right. And uh, Justin Hernandez, you are so silly with you can't wait for the Zoom Lock giveaway. It's going to be a long wait. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because if I give mine away, I don't think Sporlin would be too happy with me right now. No. I, I, I can't say that Sporlin does. It seems they do enjoy the podcast. They do like the oh, podcast. Yeah. They're yeah. great partners, but they don't like us that much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, because honestly, not to piss any of you guys off, but if Sporlin said just keep the Zoom lock, I, I ain't giving it away. I'm keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> well, you know, honesty is the best policy. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm keeping the Fleur. <laughs> yeah. Are they letting you keep it? Yeah. I, I got to give it a review. Oh, they pay, my God. They pay me one Fleur. You could have told, to to told them to send me one. I didn't tell them to send that one. Oh. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. But there is another meter, and it's this X-Tech meter. Is that, is, are, is that made by Fleur? Uh, yeah, this is the same company, I do believe. Kind of like, like Fluke and uh, Amp Probe. Yeah, I think this is the amp probe and the uh, flirt. 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 Yeah. So are you giving are you gonna give that one away? That one will be given away, yeah. Got you. But you know what? It's got I think it's got more features than the other meter has. Just the flur is kind of cool because it has thermal imaging. Right. Uh, Brian Orr says the 770 3. <laughs> the 770-3. 3. Oh no, we don't give away military supplies. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 770-3. Everyone knows the smart probes are the military supplies. Hey, Brian, I got it, man. You know, we both love Carrier. So if you want to bring me on the podcast, we can talk about our love for Carrier. That sounds like a good idea, actually, because y'all yeah. are both Carrier dealers, sort of. Well, know. I'm ICP, but I have been a Carrier. Yeah, but I have been a Carrier dealer. So you can ask John about green speed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Zach. No. I do. I love carrier, man. Love it. Brian likes the seven seventy dash three. He hasn't been killed by it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, I, I'm just <laughs> kidding, by the way. It looks like, uh, he says, I like it. I don't know if he's talking about the topic or the meter. I think that's, he said, let's do it. So oh, he's he talking about the topic. It. Well, brother, you just let me know. Uh, you just let me know whenever you want to do it. I'll uh, I tell you what, Brian. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put my phone number in the chat here, and you can text me or call me, whatever you want to do. This is the equivalent of putting your phone number on the restroom wall at the truck stop. Well, yeah. it's already all over YouTube, so what the hell? All right, Brian, I've put my phone number in the chat for you. <laughs> 770 dash three is the meter of death. The meter of death. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't Brent have yours? Yeah, Brent, mine. Brent, uh, I guess he'll, maybe he'll make a video on it. Brent, you got to make a video on it. The, uh, Brent, how's it going? Right. How's it going with that meter? What's that? Brent? Brent? Brent. Uh, Brian, Brent. I'll put my phone number in the chat for you, man. Uh, just hopefully you see that. 
your phone number's everywhere. If you can't find it in chat, it's on every single one of yeah, the videos. Yeah, it's on my videos, so, you know. I'm going to make a little song out of it if you want to. Like Brian said, we can make a song out of it. Six, two, three, six, seven, 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 seven. Something like that. <laughs> That'll be pretty good. You know, I, I want to warn anyone out there, podcast friends, that John is controversial. And if you bring him on your podcast, there's going to be great ratings because he's very controversial. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he well, says know, he's going to keep know, it clean, but he's lying. <laughs> oh, no, no, I will because I know Brian keeps it that way. You know, and Brian's really good. I mean, I've heard him, you know, I've heard him interview a couple YouTubers and he's asked him how they got started on that. And, you know, so maybe we could talk about that too. You know, how I got started on YouTube and how this came about, how the Cowboys came about. You know, I'm sure Brian could think of plenty of good questions. Yeah. But well, that's like his thing, you know. Yeah, exactly. He's he's like a genius at it. I mean, Brian is got, a leader in our area. The guy's got to be a genius. He's he's got Carrier sponsoring his podcast. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I would just like to get ICP to sponsor ours. I would just like to get uh, Toaster Strudel. <laughs> Toaster Strudel. <laughs> if I can, you know what? You know, in all seriousness. <laughs> I would like to get some of my favorite stuff to sponsor this podcast. I mean, um, the Food Lion brand sausages, uh, Vienna sausage, turkey they sell at the Lowe's Foods, any of that stuff. Oh I can. my god! Dollar General batteries. Yeah, and then, I, uh, and then the one you the, those little videos we did a while back, Dollar General luncheon meats. Yeah, Dollar General. You know, spam is underrated. You know, it will it will keep you from dying if you are trapped with only cans of spam. You know, that's that spam is underrated. Oh hell, dude! You don't even know spam. You can make some. There's some recipes you can use spam for. I'm not trying to get off on a spam tangent, yeah, <laughs> Rob. I'm a, I can't sponsor you. I'll get personal people to sponsor me. I'm gonna get yeah. Brian podcast yeah. to sponsor our podcast. Brian Orr says he's gonna get Lucky Charms to sponsor him. Well, they're not really delicious. If we're gonna talk about cereal, we're gonna have to get Cocoa Puffs, or I'd have to get Cocoa Puffs to at least sponsor my per, my solo podcast because I love Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> Uh, well, the Israel fun. HVAC podcast is now brought to you in part by Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> well, <laughs> Israel, hey, Doug's got a good point down there. Israel brought to you by Chevrolet. Uh, no, brought to you by Ford, not by Chevrolet. Geo Metro, the hottest <laughs> thing going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, this is much better since you arrived. I stopped, I, you know, I finally figured out how to actually do it, and you arrived just on time. We have well, good. good. I'm, gl I'm glad I made uh, I made it better. But, you know, yeah, Ford would be good. He did Ford, you know. Uh, the following podcast is brought to you in part by Ford. Ford, built Ford tough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, according to some of the commenters, it could be inverter-driven air conditioners. They're yeah. great for about 10 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because if Chevy sponsors me, <laughs> they're not going to like it. The following podcast is brought to you in part by Chevy pickup trucks because, hey, who needs to make it to the job site anyway? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Might as well call in sick. It's yeah. Chevrolet. Brian Orr says my podcast will be sponsored by Volvo Soccer Mom Wagons. That's a good one. <laughs> no, we should actually broadcast live to the HVAC school page. This is a lot of learning that we could impart on people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why'd you hesitate, John? <laughs> no, I'm not hesitating. I, I just I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, you, oh, they're gonna they're gonna learn a lot. But uh air airflow. Yeah. Uh, we haven't talked about it yet, but we could. Um, compressors, capacitors, yeah. <laughs> air conditioners. We already hit we hit spam. I mean, that's important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Dollar General luncheon meats and uh, we talked about what a piece of shit Chevy pickup trucks are. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's pretty universal. I mean, people know this already. I mean, that's like telling, hey, the sky's blue, Chevrolet. Sucks. Well, you know, Everybody Chevrolet is the Goodman of pickup trucks. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, abort. Abort the podcast. Abort yeah, the podcast. abort. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, nah, that's, that's funny. It's true. That's fine. <laughs> Leaking. I don't know. Hey, well, hey, what'd you do today, John? So we're already talking. We might as well have like a little miniature podcast. What did I do today? Uh, let's see. Damn it. You see, just because you asked me now, I can't remember. Uh, oh, I went and put a fan motor on a on an ICP unit. There will be a video loaded on YouTube later tonight on that. Um, oh, nice. nice. Then I went 
then I went to another job where the customer said that the fan motor had made a weird noise the other day, but it never did it again. So it was running fine when I got there. The, again, we're talking condenser. Uh, so I just checked the capacitor, you know, just to be productive and took the top off, checked the bearings, you know, and make sure, or well, not the bear, you know, make sure there wasn't no slack in the motor. There's no slack in the motor. Uh, it's not locked up. You can't oil it. It's a sealed motor. There's a little train XB 1000. Oh, yeah. And uh, I couldn't really find nothing wrong with it. Hey, and, uh, somebody's imagination or something. Yeah, I'm, I think there's something else that I did, uh, but I, I can't remember. I went to the supply house to uh, put, uh, put an order in for a slab coil that I have to do Thursday. So that's about it. Not, 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 nothing special today. Oh, all right. Well, Slow day today. Slow day. There are Facebook people said, Brian, we could talk about a 40 amp breaker on a number 10 wire. I think his group already talked about that. If I remember correctly, they went pro talk on each other during that discussion. Wait, what is that again? Uh, the HVAC school group. I don't remember exactly. I don't know if I'm a member of that. I don't know if you are either. They might have They might have banned you from the group or something. Well, why would they do that? I ain't never done nothing. I'm, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. no I, I No, I am, I am a member of the group now. Now that I think about it, I remember. I remember this discussion. They were talking about some because they, they, they do electrical stuff too over there. Because I think Brian knows a lot about electrical stuff. So right, um, there was there was like a battle royal or right. something about you know. And I'm not an electrical genius or anything like that. No, but I mean I know number ten wire used to be. It was I always think of thirty amps on a number ten wire. I don't oh, know I think I saw that post. Somebody had posted a picture of a model number tag asking what size wire he should run. Mm -hmm. Was it something like that? Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was a model number tag. I he posted that. a model number tag, and he was like, uh, "What what size wire should I be running on this unit, or and a breaker, or something like that?" Yeah, that's right. I yeah. just remember that. I mean, two guys were killed. <laughs> two yeah. guys were killed <laughs> on so Facebook. They, they actually well, they murdered totally, each other. They totally went WWE on it, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's real. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was, it was funny. Hey. I, I caught the end of that discussion. Well, I think here's the now. here's the important question: Did anybody? Did anybody get their ass kicked stone cold style with a stunner? I don't not on that particular day, no. Okay. No, nothing see, I that, saw that was that caliber. No. See, it didn't get bad enough for the rattlesnake to show up, so they better watch it. Because they don't want the <laughs> rattlesnake to show up. <laughs> don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Cause somebody's gonna end up catching a stunner. Or as Stone Cold <laughs> would say, before I leave here tonight, somebody's gonna get their ass whipped. That's right. Hopefully it's not Linda McMahon because that was about the ugliest stunner. Oh, ever. he's whipped Linda McMahon's ass many times. Linda, Vince, all of them. It sounds uh, like a, a a thing of pride. I really <laughs> yeah. that old lady's ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But <sighs> yeah. oh, this is nice, man. I'm glad we did this. I'm all tucked away, nice and cozy in the closet. Well, and now later you're not going to be here. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Guys, Zach is going to go live later on tonight. I don't think I'm going to make it. I might. I'm I, No guarantees. My uh, dad gave me a last-minute invitation to go eat tonight, and he wants to see his grandbabies. So it's kind of hard. Oh, and I know why. It's because my father's having surgery Thursday. Uh, he's got a hernia in his stomach, like it's right above his belly button, and it's all poking out and shit. And – uh. You know, so he's he's all worried about it and shit, you know, even though it's it's pretty minor. But uh so that I know that's why he's doing it. He wants us to come over and eat, he wants to play with his grandkids and all that. That's fine. That's fine. I know I'll probably go grab Ralph or something out of his friggin' wherever the hell he's at and get him. <laughs> I mean, I'm 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 not uh, like I said, Zach, you know, I'm not positive that I won't make it. You know, I might. What what time are you gonna do at my time? Your time it'll be if you could do it like Eight. If you could, because I can't do it late. If, I can't do it later. If on. you could do it at eight thirty my time, I could probably make it. I'll still be there at eight thirty. <laughs> yeah, I know. But if you could start it at eight thirty my time, that would be great, and I could probably definitely make it. Will you come eat with me before I get my vasectomy? No, that's Brian, not me no, saying that. That's not me saying that. By the no, way, no, no, Brian. I'm. Not, I like you and everything, man. But uh, no, I'm not going to come eat with you before you get your vasectomy. I'll uh, give you a thumbs up and say good luck to you, buddy. Enjoy your yeah. swollen nutsack. And it's time, Brian. 
it's definitely time. I mean, how, how many, many kids does Brian have? 154. 154. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if uh, Brian's just a good Catholic boy that can't, you know, oh, deeply in love. Well, you know what? No, no judgment here, Brian. I come from a very strong Catholic Cajun family, and I have a cousin. His wife is a. I mean, I mean, we're all pretty, you know, strong Catholics. But she is a strong, strong cat. There's my dad calling on the phone right there. Let's, let's talk to him. Put him on the line. We have uh, Crawfish God. Dad. Here. Hold on a second. Hey, Dad. Uh, okay, look, uh, just to let you know, you are live on uh, YouTube on a podcast right now. Everybody can hear you. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't know. No, it's okay. It, it's all good. Everybody, they, they love you. They they love your accent. They wanted to hear you talk. So. They can hear yeah. me talking. Yeah, they can hear you talking. Why? I mean, how did they do that? No, no, no. You, I have my phone up to my micro. I have my cell phone propped up to the microphone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what'd you uh, what'd you call for? Uh, don't you don't have to bring this crap. You don't want me to bring it. What's that? I said don't bring the trailer. Okay. Come for dinner. Okay. Why not? Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. All, right. All right. Sounds good. All right. Bye. Bye. Uh. There you go. Translation on that is he told me not to bring the trailer because it rained too much. Oh, I got it right. I got it right. <laughs> I think it was a trailer. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Good deal. Good deal. You, you, your ass is not going to be back here at 830. You know that. No, I probably will because his wife goes to bed pretty early. I'm going to text you at like 815. Okay. That, all right. See where that, you're that, at. All right. That, that's fair. That's fair. All right. 8.15. Well, so, so anyway, let me get back to my story. Uh, bro, oh, damn, Brian has nine kids. I mean, that, I mean, hey, man, like I said, no judgment. So I have a cousin, and uh, like, she, like I said, his wife is a very, very strong Catholic and does not believe in the birth control and nothing like that. And I think they're working on – hold on one second. Hey, is Rainy pregnant right now? Working on the MCA. How many, how many kids do Farrell and Rainy have? Six. Let's take some bets out there while we're listening to John talk to his <laughs> wife. We'll take some bets. How many people think that John's going to make it on Five? time tonight? No, it's six. Uh, my cousin and his wife, the, the, this particular one, uh, they have six kids. Okay, what time is it? It's 420. <laughs> what are you doing? Hang out. No, we're doing a test <laughs> thing here. I'm going to shut the closet door if you can't maintain your composure. But... uh. <laughs> So anyway, uh, it, look, Brian Orr, who's like the king, who's like the king of, uh, yeah, <laughs> who's like the king of the HVAC podcast. We were talking about kids and stuff. Brian has nine kids. <laughs> Damn, y'all should see my wife's face right now. It's like, she said, I bet they don't have nine tootsies. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, you know what? That, that'll be a good conversation too to talk about uh, Brian on the podcast because I, I would love to know how that, how nine kids, and are are Zach? Do you know are they like all young and in high, like less than high school? I think it's all throughout the spectrum because this think about it. I think he has, wow. yeah, I think he has a baby all the way up to it looks like teenagers. He's got. They have him and his wife have a baby, like all the way up to teenagers. <laughs> Some very personal stuff for Brian. Brian's Sorry, social Brian, security number not... <laughs> is on the screen now. If you want to copy Brian's social security number, and this is his Visa card. Oh no, I think he's okay oh, with it. Home. He says it's they're fifteen and under. Okay, and his wife stays at home. I, I don't know. I'm not going to get that's too personal. I'm not. Shit, I wouldn't. I would. I just leave the house as soon as <laughs> I could. Zach's like, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but no, you know what, Brian? No judgment here, buddy. I mean that you know that's that's fantastic. If, if you, I, I I applaud you and your wife for being able to do nine kids. I mean that's me and Kenneth would kill each other. I mean we got two and we almost kill each other. So now we, yeah. we we get to hear you on the live stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean y'all get to hear Kenneth in the background yelling and bitching. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, no judgment here, man. I, I applaud you and your wife. He does have a whole baseball team. He does. That's a great comment. He's got a baseball team. Oh, that's good. I'm kind of jealous now. Nine kinda kids. Good. That's a baseball team. 
you could hit because I love to hit infill with the kids, you know. But there's only three of them. So with nine, I could put, I could have the whole team. They could, they could go, go one, they, go one, cut two. You know, yeah, be great. exactly. I mean, you could say, hey, uh, Jason needs more practice. All of you, get your asses out there and take the field. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty nice. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Yeah, Jason needs more practice on his hitting. The rest of you, get your asses out there and take the field. Man, that'd be great. That'd be great. I'll tell you what. I don't know. Nine's a lot, but I yeah. don't know. Yeah, Zach, Zach just went silent. Zach goes, nine's a lot, but I couldn't tell. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> My youngest son, if there was nine of him, because he's so peculiar about things, right. it would be it would be it'd be weird. If I if I had nine tootsies. I'd murder myself. <laughs> That's so brutal. <laughs> and and me and Candace would have no house. This mobile home, all you'd see is the frame and the tires. A frame and the tires and flames <laughs> coming up. It's for the world's own good. Uh no, Bryn, I did not I did not zoom lock the uh air temp because the suction valve on the condensing unit was too short. At least I wasn't willing to take a chance. Brian says, can someone donate me a TV for my bedroom? <laughs> man, oh, man. Good All right, man. Well, I, I'm going to get out of here because we're going to go ahead and head over to Dad's. No, nah, we're having fun. I know we are having fun. I hate to get off of here. Man. but Hey, why are you doing a giveaway tonight? We're not doing a giveaway. This is a we test for that Zach was testing something out new, and I just decided to join him. The giveaway's tomorrow night. That's right. That's, we're going to do all this again tomorrow. No, it was week before last. Well, we haven't even sent out the stuff from the week before last. I know that. That's because you're slacking. No. Oh, then. It, sh, sh, sh. Oh, man. This is depressing. Dennis is uh, sending me more koozies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt, remember, I hit him up for you. He said, yeah, yeah. all right. What the well, man? he wrote me. That's a great comment, Brent. Brent left a good comment. He said, I'm about to give you away. That's right. That's I'll give. The FCC does not approve away sex traffic. <laughs> Last time we received a notice, John was trying to bargain for a night with his wife. And that's, we like to say that's inappropriate. Yeah. That's inappropriate, John. We can't do yeah, that. Any I'm sorry. But you but know, if you want to get rid of the children. Yeah. Get rid of the children. <laughs> you know, but the way me and Candace interact like this, we're, we're not, we're actually not fighting. This is just our relationship. You know, that's, that's how, we that's just how we interact. I don't know. I know it's probably some people are probably like, oh God, you know, that's fucking weird, but you know, it is what it is. I've seen it before. I've seen it on TV. I've seen it on TV, man. <laughs> it's like uh, everyone loves Raymond or like the Roseanne show that came yeah. on when I was a kid. Oh my god, they Roseanne's always yell at each other. Hard. If you if, if you say Roseanne, Candace will start jumping up and down in the air. Oh, she liked the show. Oh, uh, she loves it. She loves it. <laughs> Brian wow. says, I have some kids to sell cheap. <laughs> Brian, two kids could be missing. He wouldn't notice for three days. You know what I'm saying? Where's everybody yeah. at? Oh, here's a rumble of talking and a whole bunch of heads. I guess we're all here. <laughs> Come back from the Grand Canyon. It's like, well, there's eight now. Yeah. <laughs> Roseanne is coming back oh, to Netflix. Oh, really? Wow. I still remember that. What? Oh. Dan was my favorite guy. I love when Dan oh, yeah. beat up people on the show. Absolutely. That was my favorite part. Hey, Candace, Brent said that the their Roseanne is coming back with new episodes on Netflix. Yeah, no. Oh, you know? Oh, well, that figures. The wife usually knows yeah. everything. She knows. Mama knows best. That's right. All right. Well, yeah, let's close it out so you can get out of here. and we, We're going to be back here a little bit later anyway. Are um, you going to keep this video on the Cowboy uh, or on, on your YouTube channel? Oh, probably. Well, you know, it depends on how much, how long it was, because the very beginning was pretty bad because nothing was you. working. Okay. So I might, I want to leave it on. Maybe I'll just, uh, I'll cut it out and take the front off of it and re-upload it or something like yeah, that. Yeah, do that because I want to go back and listen to it and watch it and uh, see how dad sounded on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody out there, like the guys I don't, I don't normally see, like uh, Jason. I know we interviewed, me and Ralph interviewed Jason a few weeks ago. Right. So come back and join us tonight. It's a lot of fun. You know, all these different people can come together into one big group. It's nice. I tell you what, text me about 8 o'clock. And I'll let you know if I'm if I'm gonna make it by eight o'clock. I'll know. Okay, well that will do. Eight o'clock, you will get a text. And I'll tell you yes, I'll make it by eight thirty, or no, I won't. 
All right. Well, that sounds fair enough. I'm going to go cook some tacos All here right. live in a little while. All right. Well, I'm going to go run out to daddy's and eat some good rice and gravy and probably drink a couple beers and then try to make it home to join you. Uh, no, All right. Well, that's, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, oh, this is all. Hey, he said this is awesome. I will put you guys on in my night class, Jason. That's oh, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> all right, Facebook people, we're gonna cut you off first, just because that's how it works. So uh, we'll see you a little bit later today. All right, the Facebook people have been cut off, and so the YouTube people. Now that those Facebook people are gone, <laughs> we can really talk. No, I'm just kidding. No, uh, bye YouTube. <laughs> see you later, guys. Take it easy.